So for years now, I've been uh, my holster of choice has been the Safari Land because for the price value, what you get it is completely blows out the competition. But I'm running a Safari Land with my 1911 here, and I'm noticing something with this Safari Land holster that I have not noticed with other Safari Land holsters, and that's a two-part reason. One, I've never really ran guns of safeties in these holsters, and uh, the other part is I forgot. Anyway, so I pull my holster, my gun out, safety's up. But sometimes when I pull my, the safety gets dropped by the holster. Now it's not really that big of a problem, and in, in an intense scenario where you have to use your gun, it'd probably be a benefit because it takes your safety right there. Safety's already off, and even drop it. So it's just something to keep in mind when you're running the Safari Land holster with a 1911. And I think I can fix that problem by cutting this piece off my holster. I think that's really what is hitting my safety lever and knocking it off. Now, on my plate carrier, it doesn't seem to knock it off as much, but when I wear it in a holster configuration, it definitely knocks off my safety a lot more. So it's just one of those things I have to keep in mind and train around. So, uh, but otherwise, I love the Safari Land holster setup. It's the best money. It's the best for the price value. You're, it's only you're, you're paying less than $100 for a high quality, thick, strong holster that has a locking system. So like, you know, if you're worried about being in public, somebody can't just rip it out of your holster. You know, with, you know without you having to incur a fight. Anyway, this is Teddy Two Guns here. So that's my review of the Safari Land holster for 1911. I still recommend buying at 100%.